You might have noticed that I'm fired up. I got so much to be thankful for. God has been so good to me. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. I'm going to talk to you this morning a little bit about Christian stewardship. There's a little difference between stewardship and Christian stewardship. We're going to talk about that. First and foremost, we're going to pray. It's important that we pray. Almighty and everlasting God, Thank you, Lord. in whom we live and move oh, yeah. and have our being, yes. you created us for yourself so that our hearts are restless until you find rest in you. Great to us such power to your heart and strength of purpose that no selfish passion may hinder us from, your, from, you, from knowing your will and no weakness from doing it. In your light, may we see life clearly and in your service find perfect freedom through Jesus Christ. Now alone. Amen. 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 Lead me. Guide me. Along the way. Lord, if you lead me, I Mm -hmm. 
God created us. Thank you, Lord. Who we are. We're children of a living God. Thank you, Lord. Why are we here? We're here to serve. Amen. We were created to serve. Amen. One another, a living God. Amen. We were created to serve. The old age question is, why am I here? We need to admit sometime that I ask about something like this. I'm here to accumulate as many things as possible <laughs> in order to have a successful life. And I can earn more money, much money that I want to. <laughs> but the real answer to that question is found in the first book of the Bible. In the book of God. God created man in his own image. Yeah, image right. In the image of God, he created him male and female. He created them. We are here because we are God's creation. Amen. Listen, that was a perfect and complete harmony between human beings and God. He created mankind in a perfect fellowship with him, affecting his glory. He wanted this perfect relationship to continue forever. Yeah. Of course, it is. What went wrong? Yeah. When Adam and Eve fell into this beautiful relationship, pretending to deal with God, you were destroyed through sin and rebellion. Amen. And Adam's all died. Amen. Relation 15 25 to this very day and hour, this fall. Continue to affect our lives today. Amen. From the moment of our conception, we are sinful. Mm -hmm. Psalm 51 5. By the nature and every thought and imagination of human beings from their childhood is evil continuous. Amen. Genesis 8 21. Human beings as they come into this world are in war with God. Mm -hmm. Romans 8 7. Yeah. A line. Alienated from the life of God through ignorance, mm. blindness, mm. and sinful conditions. Mm -hmm. This is the most fundamental problem we face in regards to Christian stewardship. Ever since the fall of human beings always turn upon themselves and lie that revolves around what they want, what they need, mm. and what they are concerned with. About mm -hmm. believers are constantly highlighted fighting against the old sinful flesh. Amen. They want to pull them back into the pattern of old thoughts and do it. Mm -hmm. But how did God deal with this? All right. mm -hmm. God comes to send us to say when Adam and Eve fell in and fell. Genesis 3 15. When the time had come, God sent his son into the world. To live a perfect under the, his law right. and to be perfectly atoned and sacrificed the sins of the world. Thank you, Lord. Galatians 4 4 and 5. By this innocent suffering and, and bitter death, our Lord Jesus Christ opened the doors of paradise. Thank you, Lord. Yes. By the shedding of his holy and precious blood, thank you, Jesus. Jesus has cleaned us. Look, Glory. All of our sin, not a little bit, not a small amount, all of it, Glory. not just some of it. Thank you're Lord. all forgiven. Thank you, Jesus. Your debt is paid. Yes. My debt yes. is paid. Yes. Christ, you have become, through Christ, you have become a new creation. Thank you, Lord. He has opened the doors that has been closed. Right. Right. He has pulled us out of destruction, made us a new creation. Yes. To live under him in his kingdom, mm -hmm. serving him everlasting righteousness, innocence, and blessings. Mm -hmm. We are saved from eternal damnation and saved for eternal life with God, Thank being you, Lord. right here and now. Thank you, Lord. The source and strength of Christian stewardship is the blood's bought salvation mm -hmm. that is so richly and daily given to us in Christ. We are given a new purpose in life, a new hope. Yes. We are given new hearts, yes. a renewed mind. Mm -hmm. We are set on a new path of life. We are free from our former slavery to the sinful pattern of thoughts and actions. 
Yes. Having been saved and redeemed and forgiven by our good and gracious God, we now live in reality of that salvation. Mm -hmm. We realize that life is not just about us, but about God's will for us. Thank you, Lord. We live now in the awareness that all things belong to God. Yes. Lord. We are called to be stewards, yes. servant stewards. Yes. All God has entrusted in us. Yes. Listen, Christian stewards. Use the treasure of the gospel in their own lives, faith. gathering every Sunday around the word and sacraments. Then they receive the life and strength and hope and power and make Christian stewardship possible. We gather re regularly with other Christians to study the Bible, yes. and we grow as we know. Yes. We grow in our understanding mm -hmm. and knowledge about God's holy word. Mm -hmm. And having so gathered around words and sacraments, we then are ready. To invest those treasures. Yes, yes. Stewards don't just bury the treasures. Well, they put it to work. Amen. Amen. This is our sacred trust and responsibility. Yes. Christ wants us to share the saving gospel he has committed to our trust. So that with it and through it, others may be won for him for all eternity. Amen. For 519. Mm -hmm. He died for all. The Lord. Corona's 5, Corona's 5 15. And it is his will that none should perish. Amen. And that all should be brought to the repentance and faith. Thank you, Lord. As Christian stewards, John can use the greatest gift of all, the gospel through words and sacraments. They will find the priorities in their life change mm -hmm. and take on a new perspective. Amen. No longer do they find themselves living only for themselves. But rather, they recognize that they are part of the most dramatic, exciting, and wonderful possibility life with God and life in service for Him. Yeah. God is one of the first two. Yeah. We are only managers Thank you, Lord. for a living God. Mm -hmm. But our primary responsibility is to the one who entrusted all things in our care. Yes. Mm -hmm. Our own, own knowing and all powerful God is infinitely capable of managing those things that he has created mm -hmm. and set in motion. Since he has the power to create all things, he most certainly has the ability to manage all things. Mm -hmm. yeah. Stewardship <clears throat> is the central theme throughout scripture. The source of biblical stewardship, the first and most fundamental thing of biblical stewardship is God's ownership of it. And don't mention of all things, seeing yeah. and unseen. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. We don't have to go far, afar, to find the need. The need is right here. Amen. The need is right here in Bethlehem. Amen. The need is right here in this community. Mm -hmm. We don't have to be worried about, well, what, what can I get involved in? What auxiliary can I send my money to? Uh, can, I, can I just send it to Brother Brown? Can I send it to Brother Kelly? Yeah. Or Brother Lando? Instead of coming on down here. Yeah. We have a stewardship committee here at Bethlehem. Yeah. We give to the poor, pass our food baskets. We give out clothes, we got clothes room, bath, clothes, closet. We have go down on foot in the industry on Christmas, pass out food to the home. Yeah. Uh, we Miss, Miss Shields have an angel tree sometimes mm -hmm. Christmas. Yeah. Oh, we do things. Mm -hmm. yeah. We do a lot of things in Bethlehem. Amen. Stewardship. But we talking about. Christian stewardship. Amen. Amen. And there is a difference. Amen. Stewardship is just stewardship, just doing something and maybe looking for a little something, something in return. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But Christian stewardship yeah. is when you're doing it because you know you're going to get something in return, yeah. but you ain't going to do it just because you do it. You do it because it's your will. This is what we're supposed to do because of who we are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are a creation of God. 
Amen. And we must remember that third and not forget. The money that we have, that we own, is not ours. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's God's possession. Mm -hmm. Everything in life we have and sacred trust from is from our heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. Everything belongs to God. He allowed us to use His creation to intend for our own good. The Apostle Paul put it this way. Quite clearly, when he writes, we bought nothing in this world, and we certainly are not going to carry anything out. Amen. We still have to remember whose we are and why are we here. Amen. That is the fundamental question. Psalm 50, 10 and 12. God reminds us of his continuous ownership over everything he has set in motion. Who am I? Whose am I? And what am I here for? I'm here to serve a living God Amen. who has brought us, yes. carried us, yes. and taught us. Oh, yeah. When we talk about Christian stewardship, we weren't talking about, we are talking about the big picture. Views of how we manage and use all that God, our goods and gracious God has given to us. And that certainly includes money. Some have more, some have less. But all have the privilege, duty, and responsibility to give sacrificially for the work of the kingdom. Clearly, then, it is our joyful privilege and sacred duty to support the work of the church through our financial offerings. We give to, to our time, our talent, and the work of the church, given as we have received and shared, shared as we have been blessed. Mm -hmm. We do this in order that the message of Christ and the truth of his word is spread abroad Amen. through his, our own personal effort and through the effort of our congregation and our district. As together we join hand to reach out by boldly, reach out boldly with the gospel and telling the good news of Jesus. I was talking to one of our members here a couple of weeks ago. And he said something to me, and it stuck with me, and it's still sticking, sticking with me today. You know, we go wondering, and I hear it often, what can I do? When we know some of our friends and neighbors and our church members need help, pick up the telephone. I'm going to Crow's today. Would you like for me to pick up anything? I know you're home today with your babysitter and taking care of your loved one. Would you like for me to come by and spend an hour and give you a chance to get out of the house for a minute or two? I got to go to PTA meeting tonight, but I don't have no way to get there. Can I come by? And drop you off. I can't stay, but I can drop you off and come back and pick you up. Christian stewish. Mm -hmm. I had a big dinner tonight. And we had greens, and as <coughs> Sweetie would say, we had all kind of stuff. <laughs> and I think I just put this in, in the garbage and throw it out. I know it's somebody sitting up that corner behind the service station that needs some food. Mm -hmm. Christian stooch. Amen. I love Bethlehem. I love my church family. We have suffered for the last two and a half years. We have all been locked down. Mm -hmm. in some form of other. Yes. But it gave me plenty of time to really think. Marvin, what can I do? What can I say? 
how can I be a better man? How can I be a better Christian? How can I be a better Christian student? It starts with one's self. Yes. That's the basic fundamental of Christian stewardship. It starts with one self. Amen. Stewardship starts with one, our relationship with God. Stewards is one whose actions are aligned with God, mm -hmm. the creator and owner of all the steward and managers have. Through prayer and discernment, seek alignment with God's hope for our church, the community, Amen. the whole world. Yeah. We're all stewards, oh, yeah. whether we know it or not. Mm -hmm. Now, there are some effective stewards. There's some non effective students, but we all still okay. in God's eyes. So, nevertheless, we all act like it. Then, so then that men ought to regard us as servants, servants of Christ, and of those things that entrusted us of God, who has required that those who have been a trust must prove to be faithful. Brother Fred read, like Luke 12, verses 42 and 43. When he come, don't let him catch a nap. Don't let him catch us nap. Because we already know what we should be doing. We should be doing the work, the work of the Lord. The things that have been entrusted to us, things that we know that we should be doing, is helping one another, loving one another. Whether we know, whether we know it or not, this world is in a, a terrible place. We are divided nation, nation. We are divided race. We are divided community. We are divided in some families. That's a fact. So what do we do about it? We pray. Thank we you, pray, we pray, yeah. we pray, and we keep on praying. Yeah. We keep on trusting. Yeah. We keep on believing. Yeah. Yes. We keep on doing God's will that we know we should be doing. Yeah. We don't stop just because the road gets rough. Yeah. When the road gets rough, we get rough. Yeah. Those of us who come from the hood like I did, come from the streets. You do what you got to do. Yeah. I tell people all the time, for the first 50 years, I did my thing. This other 50 going to be a thing with God. Yeah. I'm doing a God did thing. I'm yeah. not doing it. Yeah. I'm doing this. My Lord and Savior has brought me, yeah. taught me, yeah. carried me. Yeah. When I didn't have no sense, yeah. when I didn't know nothing about it, nothing, yeah. he picked me up, yeah. turned me around, yeah. gave me a new shot. Boy, I'm so grateful. I'm so when I think about when I think about his goodness, what he done done for me, my wife, my love, how he brought me when I didn't have no sin, when I didn't even care what I got to be, what I have to be. I didn't even worry about it. I'm just doing my thing. Right now, I'm still doing my thing. We serve a mighty God. Oh, in Bethlehem, this is a mighty church, a mighty church body. This is a building. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We are the church. Yeah. We are the church. Yeah. We come into this place, this sacred place. We, the Holy Spirit comes before us, Boy, cleared it out, made way. Brother Williams, when he called, when I talked to Brother Williams this morning, he said, Brother first, all you got to do is just go in. I smile. I said, yeah, brother, I know you got it together now. But we're going to go in there and try to do something in the manner which would be pleasing to God. Remember? Amen. I believe when we give God the rings of our life that sell the matter of authority. But yeah, God is Lord, period. Yeah. What we have is not our own. Amen. But God's 
even our opinion, yeah. but subject to God's word. Yeah. Yeah. Humility becomes possible because we know we are only servant stewards of all things that come from God. Yeah. God yeah. makes us accepting and acceptable. Thank you very much. We have heard the word of God. Everybody needs to say amen, amen, amen. amen. And you know, just like I know, sometimes our heart get kind of hard because uh, we may not want to do what we're supposed to do. But God has given us an opportunity right now to come back to him any way you need to right now through this invitation. If there's somebody here that needs to go come closer to God right now, you can come up here and we'll pray for you. If you had any need of prayer, you can come up right now and you will be prayed for. But also, I'm going to live a witness that God will save you where you're at. So if you believe that you need to be saved right now, you can come to Jesus as you are. This is a great invitation of the church. The doors are open right now for you. Thank you. 